Well, I, interesting. We talked about the Phillies uh, earlier in the pregame. We'll probably talk about them again. But, you know, you're in first place. So even if, if no one expected them to arrive now, how do you as a front office just kind of ignore what's going on here, right? And, and plus, think about it. Acuna, who came up and was a superstar early, has been hurt. He hasn't even been with him for the last few weeks. So that kind of a piece coming back. You know, if, I, if I'm the Braves, I, I think I'd make a splash. And the reason I do that, there's not really a team right now in the National League that just says, we're dominant. No. And so why not, if you're the Braves, you know, do you make a play for Machado? Do you go out and maybe try and grab a, a Cole Hamels? It's something that they're going to have to entertain. I think they have much more of a realistic shot of, of getting to the playoffs and, and doing something than the Phillies. You know, I, I still would say Arizona and Milwaukee, but if, if, if Anthopolis decides to go out and do something, you've got to put the Braves in the conversation. Well, they have all the pieces in the farm system. They have a... Mm -hmm. Deep, deep farm system, a lot of talent. They need a bullpen arm. First and foremost, they need a bullpen arm and probably another starter. Mm -hmm. And some people could argue another bat. But in their division, with Washington not doing what people expected, you said Philly. I mean, I picked I them in the pregame to at least make the wild card run. So You did. They're, they're going to have to do something. I know from having played there at the end of my career and talking to people there, they think they need a, definitely a bullpen piece. Biscaino's fine in the ninth, but they'd like to pick up someone else in there to take some pressure off a, a veteran guy, a Herrera, or maybe someone a little bit under the radar. And then can they find a starter, and do they need a bat? I mean, Machado would be nice. Machado looks good on 20, 30 teams, but can you get him? We always have, and we always have this idea of, well, you know, they'll be here next couple of years. Well, maybe they won't, because, you know, you think about the year that the Nationals shuts down Strasburg. Well, they'll be there every year, and they've been good and won the division almost every year, but they haven't gotten out of the, So you can't assume, right? Well, how, how about not only can you not assume that you're going to be good, but are you going to assume that, Next year, the Nationals won't be dominant, or the Dodgers won't be a juggernaut, or right. the Cubs, or, or there won't be some team that just, okay, everything's going right for you this year. I mean, in the National League this year, you can make an argument that the only team that everything has gone right for, the Braves. I agree. I was just Everybody going to make that argument. Well, see, the Braves we and the boom, Mariners. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Well, the two teams, right, that you say. Well, the Mariners, yeah. you can't say it's gone right for, right? I mean, Everything's gone right. Look at well, who they have. Yeah, but Cano goes down. You know, yeah, and then D. Gordon injuries. steps up. Hanniger's there. So, I mean, you can say, like, because if you go into the season, if you just said right now the Mariners are 20 games over 500 ahead or tied with the Astros, there's, you would have been, there's no way. Everything right. would have had to gone perfect for them. Well, guess what? It hasn't gone, but people have stepped up. The Braves, oh, if they're at 500, you know, they're fighting for it. Well, guess what? They're 12, what, 12 games over, I think, right now? Yep. And in first place, ahead of the Nationals, ahead of the Phillies, and ahead of schedule? Well, I guess, I like, think, what's gone, what has been the bad break the Braves well, have Well, Acuna but, went down. That, yeah, but, but, you, but you tell me that you were counting on him to hit 25 home runs or whatever. You weren't counting. You were just, that's hope. Like, hope is, <laughs> hope is blue sky, I mean, right? Right, but your point is, and because I, I want to talk about the Phillies, too, so we'll show what they did tonight. But I, your point of the league being down. Yeah, get them they, down. If they're in the American League, you're not even talking about right, it. Right, right. But the league right. is down. Why not? There is. Go I, for I, it. I'm, I'm with you. We'll it. see how the Braves handle it. So here, this, I mean, neck and neck in these standings, right? Red Sox and Yankees, essentially, percentage points. Red Sox are playing the Mariners tonight. We'll get to that in just a second. And, and you have a feeling this is going to go on the whole year. So when it comes to this American League East, what exactly is going to be the deciding factor, AJ, between the Well, we talked about it pregame. I mean, the phone call. Who's going to make the call? <laughs> Whose cell phone's going to work better? Dombrowski, Dave Dombrowski of the Red Sox, or Brian Cashman of the Yankees? They're pretty equal teams. Yankees have probably a little more power, a little different lineup. Red Sox probably have a little better pitching top to bottom. They're pretty equal. The standings are equal. I mean, who's going to make the move? Who's going to make the power move? that both these teams are known for. The Yankees probably have a better farm system. The Red Sox will always make that move if they think it'll help them win a World Series. So to me, who's going to step to the plate, who's going to make the phone call, pick up their iPhone, pick up their Android, and say, hey, guess what, guys? I'm making the move to put us over the top and compete with the Astros for a World Series. Did you just cover all your phone you bases? Did all so you I did. I only have an iPhone. All, like, you just ran through all, just in case anyone calls. Just in case someone's watching out there that's a phone <laughs> rep and they want to give me a free one, I'll take it. I mean, that, one quick thing, Ihe, just before you go, that we showed the standings there and we did not, We forgot to update with the Yankee. They're a half game out now. I mean, semantics, but just letting you know. Well, so, well thank you very much. Just so the, you know what the, the interesting thing is? The Yankees, though, they're, they're going to go after a starting pitcher. That, that's what they need most. Boston, they're somewhere in the bullpen. And it's a lot easier to go out and acquire bullpen help than it is to get that horse of a starter that the Yankees need. And the Yankees, I think, have to make that move sooner rather than later because if they can do that now, 
then that allows them a better spot as far as winning that division. And the, winning the division is everything right now. To wait and to try to do it later on, you're just allowing Boston to, to, to stay around the entire time. So let me throw something at you. They have an ace in Luis Severino, right? Uh, you know, you're talking about finding an ace, which is not easy to do. What about a guy like a Jay Happ, who would be a three-starter, but all, would absolutely make your starting staff better, right? I mean, it would, would certainly take away innings, you would think. What about a guy like that? Well, it helps their bullpen also. And why do the Red Sox not need a starter? They have Sale, Price, and Pomerantz, who's on the shelf, Stephen Wright, Porcello, who's been up and down. Why, well, who's to say the Red Sox wouldn't go get but a You have back. Eduardo Rodriguez, who's been, who's been yeah. great and has a potential. So what I'm but saying... But are you counting on Eduardo Rodriguez to get you through a playoff series? Compared to what the Yankees are featuring? No, yes. compared I, I, to somebody that might be available. But they're not going to go out and get a... I would rather have a bullpen piece if I'm Boston than to go out and try to go out and get somebody that's a, a horse starter because you're going to have to give up too much. The Yankees need that for the postseason. Okay. And especially, you know, if, who are you going to... Severino, and then what are you going to do? CC. CC for it. What, Tanaka I mean, when both his hamstrings strings, are right? I mean, you Keep know, him off the bases. I, I, I just... I, the Yankees, the way they're built, and they're so close to having that complete team... You know, Brian Cashman, I think, owes it to the organization to go out and, and try and claim a good starter. I have a feeling they will.